Aren't you Mike Prince, the professional flyboarder? That's what they tell me. How was the drive last night? Oh. Honest. On the road? <laughs> it was long. Did you find Dubai? <laughs> found a place similar. Fooled us. It was called Dubois. It's, it's, slight misspell. It wasn't Dubai. So today here we try again. We look into the fog. Don't we see many things. If you ever disrespect my crew, lights out. Why well, you better know what you are do? Lights out. Snoop, we just have to do the manga true. Lights out, panda boy. Lights out, panda guy. Lights out. Mike Prince, team captain of Team Canfly, the National Canadian Flyboarding Team. I'm from originally Barrie, Ontario, well Midhurst, Ontario, but not many people know where that is. And now, uh, last four years, uh, Vancouver, BC, and that is now home. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 30 years young. What draws me to hydro flight sports? Um, I think just, just growing up in... Um, I spent a lot of time in Muskoka area in Northern Ontario and I loved, I've loved water, just being in water, anything to do with water as long as I can remember. When I found flyboarding, it was a no brainer to me. It's my number one passion so the draw is every day. I've just always been a huge fan and it's my happy place. When I'm not riding, um, I could be on the ski <laughs> teaching someone or in the gym dry land training. Uh, or strategically planning at home or uh, you know in at my location in Kelowna BC right now my focus is the world of hydro sports so really there isn't much beyond that um, try to spend some time of course with my beautiful fiance getting married in September because um, I'm away from home quite a bit quite a bit if there was a hundred foot hose and a machine powerful enough to take you to the top would you do it absolutely I think anybody in this sport would uh, <laughs> would say the same 100% yeah. we constantly are striving to to push the limits and get higher and faster so that's an easy one absolutely people look at hydro flight sports and have the perception that it looks dangerous what advice do you have for private owners just starting out in hydro flight to keep themselves safe and to have fun good question I think it's the same as um, same as any new sport out there uh, that can have an element of, of risk and danger um, take your time be patient. It's a whole different experience. We see so much, so many people in the rental space trying to do backflips their first time. It doesn't make sense. Generally, that's where you can hurt yourself. Learn the basics. Learn the foundations first, and progress as you should. You know, get comfortable with height. Um, all of your turns, your ups, your downs. Do some fun dives, and then get to your flips and your twists and things like that. Be aware of your surroundings as well, and and of course, safety, safety. Safety gear. You have a helmet on. You're wearing your life vests, and um, in the beginning, you have a you have a driver that that knows what they're doing, has gone through their operators courses, and is very aware of their their depths and uh, everything that's going on. I have seen you in a film, uh, actually dressed as a woman and flyboarding. Can you tell us about that? Which one was? <laughs> I was actually in a tutu. Um, I had a shower cap on and um, some goggles and I was a old lady stunt double in a Nickelodeon film called uh, Shipwrecked. No, now it's called One Crazy Cruise. They actually renamed it. Uh, so it was a neat opportunity that I got to um, get on film. But they said, yeah, you got to wear a skin suit. We have to, you have to shave your beard. You got to put blush on. The whole works, they did me up. All said and done, I spent a day there for about a four second clip, but it was a really fun experience to be on film where I met some cool uh, stunt friends of mine now. And um, and yeah, I get to uh, look up that clip once in a while and, and see this f f funny old lady. We hung out, we were there for about six hours and mm -hmm. I was eating for about four of them. I got some cool pictures too. And I got a little trailer for a half a day. That's fun. 30 seconds of fame. <laughs> 
Super excited about 2016. It's going to be a big year. I think it's a very pinnacle year for the, for the uh, sport. Some historical events happening that are open board. Can't support it enough, all the riders enough. Super exciting. Where the sport is, where it's, you know, how much it's evolved in the, in the last few years and where it's headed. I think we're in a really big year here and I'm, I'm really excited to see how everybody's going to fare out. And of course, Team Canfly. Be looking out for us. Thank you, Mike.